What's going on, everybody? It's Endless One Up. I hope you're doing well. What's on deck today? Today, we're going to check out Chorus. Chorus is one of those games that I feel like flew under the radar and then magically just popped up into my Steam view one day. And I saw that it had a demo available. So I was like, oh, crap, I'm going to go download that and check it out. I checked it out like five minutes into the demo. I'm like, I'm buying this. Luckily, it was on sale. So I'd say pick it up. I, it's probably worth the real price. Like the game's beautiful. The controls are great. Um, the tutorial in the beginning is really well done. So let's dock it up, see if it's Steam Deck verified and check it out. This game came out in 2021. You think we would have all heard about it by now, right? But no. So let's check it out now. All right. So we are just, I was just checking out like the information about the game here. Again, this game has some really, really pretty visuals. Like, it came out December 3rd, 2021. Let's go ahead and launch it up. It is Steam Deck verified. I'm going to be using my Xbox controller. We just hooked up the Steam Deck via the dock. While that's launching up, let's make sure we don't have anything set up like... Make sure the telemetry's on. That's good. Let's uncap the frame rate here. All right. We're in the game now, let's go ahead and check out the settings. So we have windowed full screen, screen is a one to one. Can we, let's do defaults, let's make sure everything's set to the default. All right, turn VSync off, max FPS, let's just do unlimited. And then for the visuals, I'm gonna turn this on. Mm. The game does look really nice. So we're going to leave it on high and see what we get for frames per second. We do have the frame rate above us already. So I'm going to jump out of there. I'm going to start a new game. Difficulty medium, permanent death. That's cool. Make it a legacy game. But once you die, you're done. All right. Looks good. Continue. Uh, make it so. Is there one on the end there? Oh, geez. Yeah, I wasn't. That's good pretty good so we're at 720p right now and we're getting this is a cut scene i can skip it i can pause it that's nice i love cut scenes that you can pause this is not something that's common and i wish everybody would include it in their games because maybe i want to watch a cut scene but i have to go do something if i can't pause it guess what i gotta go do my thing and i'm gonna miss your cut scene So the animations are pretty cool in this game. Uh, that's one of the things that like caught my eye. I was like, this thing looks pretty good. I was like, I wonder if the controls are just as good or if it's kind of wonky. So I'm not going to sit here and let it all play out. I just kind of wanted to give you a little feel of like the cinematic vibes of the game and see it from just not gameplay perspective, but see it from this perspective as well. Turn around, weird creature boy. Oh, he didn't want to. Okay, we're going to skip it. Very pretty. Can we skip that? Skipping all the pretty stuff. All right. So now we got a tutorial here. Let's get me off the screen. So steer with the right stick. Left stick is your thrusters. So you can pull back or go forward. All right. I have to hold it in. Looks like that. I kind of do have to hold it in. All right, is that it? I got guns. Can we go faster? We got pew pew pews. Oh, we can ram into things. Click it, press it. Like, what do you mean, like, I'm going that way? Oh man, that wasn't good, right? Remember. You fly with me, you take your life into your own hands. What are we doing here? This is so entertaining. Woo. How do I barrel roll? Barrel roll, barrel roll. Oh, it's just hitting the right on the right analog stick. That's cool, I like that. And this is like left turn, right turn, down and up. Okay. So, barrel roll. <laughs> 
This is totally like Star Fox vibes, right? Was I supposed to like shoot that open? I don't know. Scavenger, collect power cells. All right. So there's another one. Should've looked at what I was trying to do, huh? The maneuvering is not that bad in this game. There's the other one. I passed it up earlier. Shiny bit. I love shiny bits. Woo! Woo! Whoa! Evade projectiles. We just got baboomed. We got our face baboomed off. All right. So we're. Wow, I feel like I feel like this is like the Millennium Falcon board in that one Star Wars game. Oh man, I think we're supposed to dodge that. <clears throat> All right, return to the Enclave now that we've been goofing around. So hit L, 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 L to hit L. Just, just hit it. Oh no, it's a pirate crow. It has a weak hull. All right, we're gonna dismiss this. We're just going to shoot its face off. We missed it. We're going to get you. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the combat. We got a dog fight going on now. You got to make the airplane noises like you're feeding a little kid some porridge. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We destroyed all the crows. Crows is just another name for those thingies. Return to the Enclave. I don't know where the Enclave is. Is it this way? What are these things? You shoot them? They're red. I don't know where we're going. I don't think we go this way. Let's go this way. Yeah, see, we gotta go this way. There's more blue thingies over here I was gonna... I had to pick up, too. You gotta pick up those blue thingies. Why are you making me slow down? I don't want to slow down. Speed me up out of here, Scotty. <laughs> I think it's beam me up, but whatever. All right. What's this? Ooh. What do you guys got going on over here, huh? This is where they got the cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger. Okay. I'm listening. It's a quick delivery. Cheeseburger. Cheese. Oh, don't slam off of them. Jeez. They're just trying to get some cheeseburgers. Jeez, bugger. Oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna help you right now. Look at that, this is fun. Pew 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 pew, pew. Woo. <laughs> Look at that drilling machine. Drill <laughs> Sorry. Game is pretty forgiving when you screw up, isn't it? Look at all these little railways. Wee! This is so much fun just to fly around. Whoa, speedy guns. Speedy guns. We're at the Enclave. What are we supposed to do here? Am I supposed to park like right here? Right in there. Get your butt. <laughs> Get in there! Look at that fun little machine that I destroyed. It's called a jet. That's what it says on the side. It's a jet. Ooh. Thing's packing some heat. Nice. So this is where we can, like, switch our ship's structure. And add modifications. Pretty cool. That's fun. All right, let's go to our ship structure. We'll buy a hull replacement. All right. 
We're gonna leave the hangar. Well, off we go. You can see we're getting like pretty solid frame rates. I haven't really talked about it much, but we're getting 90 frames per second and I set it on high. You could change it to epic if you wanted to drop it down to 60 frames per second. It does look, this game looks nice already, but if you wanted to increase the niceness, <laughs> you could. Um, I'm not going to do it right now. I mean, let's bring me back up to full screen. I think you've gotten a good understanding of this game at this point. So that's Chorus on the Steam Deck. Pretty cool little game. Just gonna exit out. You can see see me flying around. My controller's vibrating. We just boomed into that. That was awesome. Aw. Are we breaking? Did we go ba-boom? I think we went ba-boom. <laughs> well, hey, that's Chorus on the Steam Deck. Really neat flyer. Uh, controls are really smooth in this game. That's what made me like this game so much and made me go from the demo to actually purchasing the game. If you like, check out the demo. Tell me if you like this game. I love it. Hopefully you do too. I think it's a really worthy game to be playing on the Steam Deck. Um, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.